So you clicked on this video because you have an Nikon ZFC or you want to get an Nikon ZFC and you're wondering if it's any good for professional use. So after doing many professional jobs with an Nikon ZFC, let me give you my opinion. Alright, what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Elias, I'm a photographer located in Athens, Greece and in this channel we're doing street photography, we're doing portrait photography, we're doing travel, we're doing professional photography, we're doing all that kind of stuff and also gear related videos. So if you like all this kind of stuff, then maybe consider subscribing and maybe even liking the videos because this really helps out with the algorithm. So in today's video we're going to break down if the Nikon ZFC is capable of doing professional jobs and if it's a viable option and who should consider getting this camera and who should consider not getting this camera for professional use. So we lay out all the pros and all the cons and I'm going to talk only about professional use. I'm not going to talk about street photography and all that kind of stuff because this video is going to be strictly for everyone that wants to make a bit of money by using this camera. Also, I'm wearing these glasses today. I don't know if you like them. Let me know down below if I should consider using them. I quite like them. I wear them from time to time. They take the blue light away and it feels like I have a preset on my eyes. Anyways, so the Nikon ZFC is basically a crop sensor camera, a crop sensor mirrorless camera. You don't get the full frame magic that you get with other cameras, but in my opinion, a crop sensor camera is not something to worry about. Many people are really successful by doing uh, wedding photography with a Fujifilm camera. And as you know, Fuji has many cameras with crop sensors. And also many people are doing videography professionally with even micro four thirds cameras with the GH4, GH5, GH6. So yeah, sensor size in my opinion doesn't really matter all that much all you have to know about sensor size is that the larger the sensor the better low light capabilities of your camera so if you want to have the best of the best low light capabilities then a full frame camera is obviously the way to go also excuse me for the change of the light all the time i'm using a window light right now and clouds are coming in and out of the shot all the time so yeah that's about it. I will buy really soon a dedicated lighting setup for my YouTube setup over here. But for the meantime, we have to get used to the clouds, which I really hate. All right, now that we have the sensor size out of the way, let's start talking about the pros of this camera. And the first pro that I think is important for many professional users is basically the autofocus. And let me tell you something. The autofocus in the Nikon ZFC is really, really good. Unless you're doing high-end sports photography, and if you're doing high-end sports photography, I don't think you're using Nikon ZFC anyways, or considering to get getting one. But yeah, unless you're doing high-end sports photography, the Nikon ZFC autofocus system is perfectly, perfectly fine. I don't think you will encounter any problems with the autofocus. I'm doing wedding photography with the Nikon ZFC. So yeah, the autofocus for these kind of situations is more than enough. I don't know why people are crying all the time. Oh, my Nikon uh, mirrorless camera doesn't have good autofocus and I miss all the photographs because of that. It's not the camera. It's you. You suck. You cannot use your camera pro properly and you're crying on the internet about it because you're grown a uh, man child. Holy... F I cannot with these people, dude. I cannot. I cannot. Fujifilm has a worse autofocus than Nikon and there are such talented photographers which make a lot of money by using Fujifilm. There are many talented and really respected photographers which use DSLRs and create stunning work, stunning wedding photography work and their prices are over 10,000 euros per wedding. So yeah, I cannot understand people that are crying about the autofocus system on these cameras. I just can't. I'm sorry. A small disclaimer, obviously Sony has a better autofocus system. I'm not here to go side by side with the, with the camera brands. I just hate people that think that Nikon has a bad autofocus system and are blaming their camera because they don't know how to use it properly. Yeah, that's just my opinion. When I'm on the dance floor on weddings, most of my shots are in focus. And one sequence that made me really believe in this autofocus system is when this baby over here in a christianing wanted to blow out this candle and I was using a third party lens. I was using the Viltrox 23mm 1.4 at 1.4 and every picture is stuck sharp in this sequence in the eye. Every single picture. If my camera 
can focus in a really low light situation like inside of a church at f 1.4 and nail the eye of that subject easily then i don't know what anymore else there is to say the autofocus system is great pro number two i really love the image quality that i get out of this camera the 23 megapixels i don't know how many megapixels this camera has i don't remember but yeah the megapixels are more than enough for wedding photography portrait photography they're more than enough for almost every single situation of photography unless you're printing really really big like meters big then you won't have a problem with the image quality i made the print a while ago with a shot that i took with my kit lens it was a really big print at least for my liking and the image quality was superb the image on that print was superb the colors are amazing coming out of the camera the editing is smooth yeah the image quality is to be honest top notch and for a crop sensor camera the low light capabilities are to be honest really good i shoot mostly at 2000 iso 2500 inside the church maybe sometimes a little bit less it depends on the light that i have inside of each building in case i found myself in a situation where the iso is really high and i have a lot of grain i just use the ai lightroom tool that is working really well i clean up my images that way pro number three is basically the really small weight that this camera has and the really small form factor that this camera has don't get me wrong i'm not talking about the ergonomics here the ergonomics are going to be on the negative side of things but i really love the fact that i have a really lightweight body during the weekends i go out and photograph a local hiking group over here these hiking trips are like six and seven hours long and the fact that i have a really lightweight camera body with really awesome image quality as well really helps me out in these kind of situations and also uh, when i'm doing wedding photography and in any other type of professional situation where i have to carry my camera for many hours i really love the fact that i have such a small lightweight camera which doesn't really bother me and doesn't really take much of my strength in order to carry around that camera it's not a huge weight the lenses are also really small so that's a pro number three and the pro number four at least in my opinion again this might sound again a little bit controversial but basically the battery life is more than enough for almost every single situation that you can find yourself out there i own only two batteries they're both nikon branded batteries so don't go out there and buy third-party batteries only buy uh, original uh, nikon batteries i know they're expensive but they are really really well made what i do is basically i have these two batteries which can last me for the whole wedding day but just in case i found myself in a situation where i don't have that much battery left i simply have a portable charger with me and i charge one of the batteries which i'm not using at the time so yeah two batteries are fine for me and i don't need anything else okay so now that we covered all the positives let's also talk about the negatives and to be completely honest over here i think some of the negatives are huge deal breakers and especially one negative is the reason that i'm considering to upgrade to another body and this really huge and main negative is the fact that we have only one single card sd slot you might think to yourself that that's not a huge problem that's not a huge issue and i completely agree with you it's not a huge issue if you're doing simple work that you can easily reshoot like portraits or product photography or any other situation which you can easily reshoot but let's say for weddings if something happens and my sd card gets corrupted while i'm using it while the wedding day is still going on and i haven't backed it up yet on my laptop then we have a problem and then my career is over then i have to repay the couple bug and i will most likely never get a job again yeah that's the only reason that i'm thinking of upgrading and getting a body with two sd cards and if i eventually go down that route and start doing more weddings and more christianings and more events in general then i personally will invest in a body that has two sd cards but if you personally think that one sd card slot is more than enough for you that might not be a negative for you negative number two are basically the ergonomics of this camera this camera has not a grip so if you plan on holding it for a large amount of time i suggest to get a third party grip from small rig that's the one that i use which helps you out 
with grabbing this camera and holding it for a large amount of time but even with these grips the ergonomics are still not that great you get tired after holding that camera after many hours so yeah just keep that in mind obviously we have a lightweight body but it's not that comfortable on holding it all the time and negative number three are basically the video specs personally i really like doing videography i'm starting to get the hang out of it i'm trying to do more and more video work and i really want to be able to give my clients more options and upselling my work with adding video um, to my client base let's say for example i do a photo shoot on a coffee shop i can upsell a small reel or a small video which i can do for them and this can make me much more money and this can also make you more versatile because sometimes you might not get work from photography jobs and you might get more jobs from video jobs doing video is a really nice skill to have as a photographer it's not that important for established photographers but for the everyday photographer i think doing video is really important or at least knowing how to do video and then i can see sadly doesn't have the best video out there it's great for youtube it's great for that type of content over here but it's 2023 and the fact that we don't have 4k 60 and the fact that we don't have a log option and i'm doing all of my recordings with the flat profile really limits me so yeah i found this camera really limiting for video work and the fact that we don't have stabilization makes it even worse sometimes you need a stabilization in video sometimes you don't so yeah i would love to see 4k 60 and a log profile on a camera like that canon does it sony does it fuji does it on their apc cameras so i don't know why we cannot get it so these are all the negatives that i can think of and after stating all the positives and all the negatives i really want to hear your opinion if you think that the nikon zfc is a viable option for professional use i think the most viable option is to use the nikon zfc as a second body but that's just my opinion but for the meantime i will continue using the nikon zfc for all my professional use till i really understand what path i want to follow on my professional career so this is where i'm going to end the video thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time by watching my content this really means the world to me i really want to hear your opinion down below in the comments about this video and about this topic and as always i'll see you all next time take care peace